There's eyeliners and then there's Sharmila Tagore and she's one of the most imitated eyeliner looks in the history of Indian cinema and I'm going to try my best to do it on Jean just for you here at Glamorous.com. Hi, I'm Pallavi Simmons, your makeup expert at Glamorous.com. Sharmila Tagore, as we know her, was one of the best things about the 60s and the amazing thing about those times were using matte shadows, matte textures and uh, I'm just going to show you on Jean today how you can get that look. I've already prepped and primed and uh, she's ready with foundation and concealer. As you can see, I've just penciled in her eyebrows quite strongly. It was very typical of the 60s to kind of do very strong eyebrows and strong eyes. I'm going to start with a faces solid brown eye pencil. The best way to find your crease and try and make a shape is to keep your eyes open straight up. This is what she used to do. Just very lightly line the crease and pick it up. Make sure you don't make a very solid line because it's very hard to blend in. Really soft like that and then use an eyeshadow brush, a flat one ideally and just softly blend that. What you're just doing here is giving a cream base to a solid brown shadow over it. To go over that, I'm using a FES 244, which is a Faces eyeshadow in a matte brown. It's a perfect brown because it's slightly reddish, not gray. Now I'm just going to go over that line and blend softly into the corner. So the corner is not very stark. If you notice, I'm already picking up the shape because this will give you a nice guideline as to how you can put your liner. Now using a rounded brush, just blend over the crease a little bit so it softens the line. And now I'm going in with a Faces eyeshadow which is slightly shimmery. Now I'm just placing it in the gap that I've left right here, just kind of packing it on. Most of the colours they used back then were really pale, there was like icy pinks, icy blues, icy beiges. Matte shadows also work very, very well in a look like this. Now using the brown shadow that you have from earlier, just blend together. Now once that's done, I'm going to just do the liner. Now I'm going to start with the white because the eyes are quite pulled out. So I'm going to draw the white and then border the white with the black. Okay. This was one of her famous tricks to widen her eyes. And if you notice, I'll be working the white slightly under here. So when I draw the black line, her eye will appear longer than it really is. And I'm just working a bit of the white even into her lash line. For the black eyeliner, I'm going to use Maybelline's Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner in black. I'm going to make a very thin liner to begin with and then work the shape. Now just where your white eyeliner ends, try and make a very thin but kind of straight line. What this does is it will open up her eye. You need a very very steady hand for this. Also you need to go really close to the lash line. Then give it a good, quite a dramatic pull. And now I'm going to just do the upper liner as well and then give it a good twist up. Now here I, I want the pull to go kind of like a curl. So I'm going to start with the last lash, li lash as my guideline. And then just pick the liner up quite dramatically. And work till where you've softened the brown. So when she opens her eyes, there's a, it looks like a part of the eyeshadow. Making a strong V here. Now 
Now I'm going to round off the shape over her eyeball just a little bit. Now I'm just going to go back over the lower line and make it dark. Now I'm just going to use a curler and a mascara and fake lashes. Now be very careful not to get any of it on the white. So very carefully put it on, on the upper and lower lashes. I'm starting with the upper lashes. I'm lifting the corners as you can see very intentionally. And pushing the lashes towards the wing. And when you're doing the lower lashes, be very careful not to get any of it on the white. Now once this is done, I'm just going to do fake lashes as well. Now I'll just wait for the white of the glue to disappear. In the meantime, while that's happening, I'm just going to continue with the blush. Just simply going to dust on a little bit, right here, on the apple of the cheek. Not much contouring there. To finish off, I'm just choosing a lovely matte. It's, it's a Revlon matte lipstick. It's called Move It Over. No lip liner, none of that. And again, going back to a very matte, very pasty kind of texture. And there's our very own Sharmila Tagore. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay tuned, stay glamorous.